Kunal pitched it to Farhan and Ritesh of Excel as Z and MD for poor people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That one shot of him removing his T-shirt when he thinks it's time. Yeah. I couldn't believe that was yeah. Prithvi Raj. What Rhea and Ekta do is not create those women-centric films which are misery and dukhi. Here's like it's sexy. What's the logic? Really end? bad, just a bit. <laughs> just you know? a little. Yeah. So it was terrible, terrible, yeah. terrible. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is The Late Take. I'm Anupama Chopra. I'm Anmol Jamwal. And it has been too long. It has been too long. I don't even remember when the last one was. Oh Lord. I have no idea. Last year of course. And I feel uh, like I want to blame you. Me? <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Actually we got into an altercation. I remember the red carpet. We were like at blows with each other by the way that's what people think really so, yeah 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 we like actually there was drama yeah there's drama and we're fighting behind the scenes so wow. yeah so this is our return you know <laughs> we've squashed the beef and we're finally starting again i love so, yeah. it i love i love that some that something in my life is such a topic of conversation <laughs> I feel Fully. relevant. Yes, yes. And but it's a good weekend to come back to it with is. this show. Yes, yes. I'm not, I've literally seen a film every day for the last, I think, five days. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, it's been such fun because I'd also missed Madgao, uh, which we should go to. But let's start with Crew, which I had some issues with, but I'm so thrilled that it opened big and got people in because that's the first thing people say about. First of all, I hate that word, women-centric films, is that opening me milegi, kon aega dekhne. So, you know, Ekta's and Rhea have done this before with Vire the Wedding, where they proved that wrong. Uh, so I was very thrilled. What did you think? Uh, again, I also had similar issues. Uh, First of all, I loved the just the vibe of the film. Uh, you know, I was in for just a comedic ride, and I just loved the three of them together. So I was invested uh, from a concept level. Yeah. You know, because it has such parallels to what we've seen in real life. I wished that the premise itself, the core focus, was that on the particular scam and uh, these women dealing with their financial issues. What I felt uh, derailed the story quite a bit was when it did focus on their personal uh, family dynamics. Mm. I couldn't care less about Tabu's brother. And uh, I think neither could the writers. <laughs> neither could the writers. <laughs> you, know, you know, Karina. Tabu's brother, to what was his name? What was his name? He would walk in drunk and leave. And the chef's sis-in-law who's yeah, like, yeah. you know. And uh, Karina lamenting in uh, near uh, Linking Road. Uh, it was slightly like, uh, that deviated my attention. And yeah. I felt like because uh, that became a focus in the second half slightly, uh, I think you pointed this out as well, the climax and all of it seemed rushed. Yeah. So um, while I loved the banter and dynamic and it was so lovely to see Karina, Tabu, Kriti also, you know, yeah. you've got basically, I think they're a decade apart each. So it's so lovely to see them together and have fun. I just wished it was more of that versus um, the various subplots that we ventured towards. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, so again, I signed up for exactly that. A comedic ride with three really dazzling actors slash stars who look amazing. You know, I love that first of all, uh, what Rhea and Ekta do is not create those women-centric films which are always sort of very strident and about issues or, or it's just misery and dukhi situations one after the other. Here's like, it's sexy. Right, it's glam. They look amazing. They look amazing. Yeah. It is funny. It is sexy. And I was like you. I was already, I was sold on a concept level. Yeah. You know, I just wish they had kept the laughs coming. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, when, as you, uh, for me, they put all the gags in that trailer. Yes. So the best moment of yeah. Karina and Tabu bickering with each other or yeah. Tabu playing referee between them. I thought those were the best moments. And if it expanded more on that, I feel like I would have had a, a, a more of an entertaining experience like I did with Mudgaon. Absolutely. Uh, you know, for me, the circumstances itself were so hilarious. You could just extract one gag after the other. Yeah. Whereas um, I was not having that belly ache experience with crew. Which I did in Loot Case, which Loot is what Case, yes. Rajesh Krishnan directed before this. Yes, I yes. mean, I love that film. Vijay Raz in that film. Oh, oh my, God. my God. I thought he was just, and I've never forgotten that. You know, yeah. that whole idea of a Don using National Geographic as a way to explain to his minions what the rules of the jungle are. And I felt like there was, 
he didn't hit that those high notes with the fun of it hmm. you know and you know uh, what's insane is the ma'am that actually i cackled the most uh with the chairperson's daughter i felt like she got the wacky sensibility <laughs> of this film uh to Especially the scene in the plane when she's tied up and with her chin she's dialing <laughs> the pilot i thought that was just inspired yeah and you know that kind of silliness was something that i wished was slightly consistent yeah. but uh, I, i do hope that this is a foray into just more of these, more of these. Uh, you know and yeah. Uh, yeah. more producers investing in it because uh, people are tuning in yeah. yeah and women can be funny They are funny. They are funny. You know, uh, the, I think that became slightly the talking topic in my review also, huh. where uh, a lot of it gets termed as uh, certain boxes, and it's slightly reductive on social media where this is uh, toxic in nature or whatever. Yeah. But uh, I mean, that comes in part and parcel of what social media has become now. But it was carefree fun. Yeah. We can have that. Yeah, we can have that, and yeah. I think. Madgao Express got that. Yeah. You know, I saw the film a week late because I was traveling, but I feel like uh, Kunal Kemo, uh, who's also written the film, just got that right note of silliness plus backstories that matter. Yeah. You know, Devendu's mm-hmm. sort of emptiness, his complete faking all of his life on uh, on social media. Those are very real things. but it never weighs it down it never weighed it down and you know when they it became so reflective of how uh, male friendships are is that when there is even a glimmer of someone being slightly vulnerable yeah. one can't help but throw a, a jab or a joke in the middle yeah. so for him to even say that he's a raw agent i burst out Me laughing too. in that <laughs> confession too. yes um and I, yeah i felt prateek gandhi was so hilarious what he an actor was, what an actor uh, yeah. and uh, him in that state was just yeah. perfect i thought it could have gone um slightly uh, off the hinges with them uh, going inside infiltrating into the comedy gang and yeah, that probably yeah. would have been slightly uh, all over the place but it was that comedy of errors worked for me as well absolutely yeah. absolutely uh, my only contention was it could have been shorter could have been i felt like too okay. much i mean i thought nora was lovely and yeah. it's so nice to see her in a comedy yeah. uh, but like we don't need to have her dance every time you know we see her you know uh, ma'am that was one thing i think kunal struggled with mm-hmm. and I, i i with in my madgaon express had created a parallel with delhi belly on how if you remember uh, the sequence of jaat chudel with veer das it was so reflective of the jump you take to the absurd uh, uh, sort of pitch of it yeah. so you can go from circumstances of heartbreak to absolute absurdity where he's dressed up like elvis and is uh, gate crashing her engagement whereas in this um i think the attempt was that but they took the shape of music videos at one point it was just regular yeah. dance numbers yeah then it yeah. just becomes and and of course she's always lovely when she's dancing but like we yeah. seen it yeah because you know you when you see avinash coming down and there's this huge uh, confession of love or whatever correct, it is correct correct uh i felt like that leap didn't really happen with yeah. his uh, yeah. dance yeah yeah but numbers. but genuinely so happy to yeah. see you know again it's it's not a film with massive stars it's it's uh, and apparently uh, someone said to me that they read in an interview that Kunal pitched it to Farhan and Ritesh of Excel as Z and MD for poor people <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i love that yeah. you know i love and i think it's just so nice because it's such a clutter breaker it is it is you know everything doesn't have to look the same and feel the same we can say that for a lot of uh, I mean at least for the action films uh, lately it's becoming more of the same It is more of the same yeah. like you know you'll have that oversized hero or you'll have the great India action. Pakistan The India but I'm like I mean get beyond it. let's yeah. just do something ahead of that you know so this was really interesting and for me genuinely the other sort of head spinner was the goat life which which again I had some issues with it i haven't read the book so i think for people like me who haven't read the book we came into it like tabula rasa it's a clean slate we had no imagination of what najib should be like or what this saga should look like um, and i was amazed by what prithviraj has done it is an incredible committing of an actor to a character it was so inspiring to see yeah. ma'am and uh, 
that transformation from how he looks in the first frame yes and how he's in the second act it's absolutely bonkers it's not for me it's the same me. guy right i can't recognize him and yep. if you if if you see it with his uh, co-star as well gokul uh, i think his name's kr gokul huh. and the shriveled up nature of his state in that last act yeah it's insane on what these actors have committed to this project and what you know it's so inspiring when i saw prithvi raj's interview with you on just the commitment of blessy with the particular subject sticking by it and uh, you can see the vision you can see it and uh, ma'am uh, you know it broke my heart to see uh, the constant juxtaposition of what he left behind versus where he is yeah. just the beautiful colors of kerala and it immediately it's so wet and so green green yeah. and your immediately when he gets a, a reality check he's back to yeah. you know a, a sense of nothingness uh and i still remember that one shot of him removing his t-shirt when he thinks it's time yeah. i couldn't believe that was yeah. prithvi raj yeah and yeah. he walks naked to that to the tank of water and it is just astounding absolutely shocking that what they've achieved and the way i think that blessy also um, sort of showed that movement it's it yes it is it is a performance which i think if it was in the west it would be called oscar bait mm. because it has that kind of nature of like i'm just committing to it but i don't think that takes away from what they've accomplished you know uh, that became a sort of a discussion in the co- comments also that i saw where a lot of people felt that people were so invested in what went into the story of making this a reality mm. that everyone was rooting for it yeah so even um, the slight inconsistencies that they must have felt of not being as emotionally attached to his um, circumstances was something that they slightly overlooked because the 16 year journey was what uh, the kerala you audience has stayed with yeah. yeah yeah so uh, you know especially as you said that you know i also have not read the uh, novel but everyone who has brings up on what became widely apparent about the text was how beautifully uh, benjamin has presented the transformation of najib into one of the herd you know Correct. Uh, almost Correct. like him he becomes a goat and the, essentially the only beings that show him a sense of kindness and empathy are them and the visuals of him being in the center of the entire herd was essentially of him being like one of them yeah. right yeah. um so apparently one of the scenes that's been cut in the film is how he uh, sees the birth of a goat and sees it as its own child oh. uh, so he has become so desensitized to the human touch and this is essentially his family it becomes a moment of you know um, even fatherhood that he couldn't experience right. when uh, his uh, wife was yeah, pregnant yeah, right yeah so you know oh, those kind know of that. yeah wow. so those kind of moments and they say a very disturbing sequence also has been cut by the censors which was him um uh, engaging in bestiality Wow. Uh, because you're there right. and, like you know what um, do you do with your sexual urges yeah, yeah. and yeah. Uh, so when you think about these things you probably also wonder about that emotional note that you probably felt was missing could have been achieved could in those been, sequences yeah, yeah. i you know? for me i mean i felt like the, for me the, the the second half felt uh, very drawn out and this is a question i always wonder that you know how much misery can you actually indio without becoming disconnected from it mm. you know and it felt like there was it was like one thing after another and it just kept going and going and going and then of course uh, spoiler alert there's that masterful moment when that bottle rolls down oh, wow. yeah. to that road and you hear the the sound of glass on the on the pavement on that on that road and you understand that, oh my god he's going to survive i mean we knew he was going to live but it just comes as such a relief and it's just so beautifully orchestrated but i just felt like before that in that long stretch between the escape and that was where i got most restless mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and i did feel that i wish the arab characters had been a little more fleshed out a little more you know kind of just real mm-hmm. because the rest of it was so real and of course the cinematography is just oh, stunning beautiful stunning. yes you know i did feel um 
whether that was a conscious choice of them just being caricaturist oppressors yeah. who have who consider them to be uh, slaves anyway so essentially you know what happened ma'am was that on i saw it on a friday morning and there were no malayalam subtitles so i was as disoriented as prithvi raj in that film of what's being said what he's trying Wait, so to say so you saw the malayalam version without subtitles without subtitles so wow. the arabic subtitles are obviously not there because they want you to experience what najib is experiencing correct. but they had to correct this and from saturday morning the subtitles had come correct i saw yeah. it on on saturday yeah. yes yes so i saw it twice <laughs> and that's when you know uh, i did feel Uh, as restless as Prithvi Raj was feeling in the first half, because I was as t- trying to connect the dots of what's being said and how I'm being treated, and I also started to wonder about his psyche um, as an actor who's constantly being belittled at or shouted at. It might make you such a uh, you know, it uh, uh, almost makes you such a um, what's the right word for this? Um, you've lived your life having a sense of self respect uh, at right. uh, one point of time and now you have to just surrender to uh, listening to whatever's being uh, said to you i felt like he became such, uh, while his physical state became that internally also he became such a shriveled version of himself yeah. Yeah. um and uh, you know i i was remembering captain phillips uh, yes. and when he finally gets rescued and yeah. when he's and being asked and that look on tom hanks's yeah, face yeah when he's oh being asked God. those questions and yeah. he can't even articulate what What's to say what happened to him yeah that's what i felt when um, kr uh, when his uh, co-actor and him reunite yeah. it's almost as if they forgot to speak yeah and so th- there's this muffled odd tone to the yeah. way they're uh, talking to each other uh, no, i love the ambition of it yeah you know um, it's like you just वो पहले सुनते थे ना शोले पांच साल में बनी काइंड ऑफ स्टोरी वेर यू जस्ट मैडली कमिट टू वन थिंग एंड यू जस्ट कीप एट इट एंड आई थिंक दैट्स जस्ट सो वंडरफुल नाउ व्हेन इट्स सो रेयर या इट इज सो रेयर मैम आई नो मैम व्हाट आई लव इज देयर इज एक्चुअल इंटरेस्ट पीपल आर गोइंग टू द थिएटर्स वाचिंग इट सेलिब्रेटिंग इट सो दैट्स लवली टू सी यू नो इट इज आई एम सो हैप्पी अ रेंज क्रू द गोट लाइफ वेयर रियली गेटिंग स्पॉइल्ड Did you see Godzilla? What is it? Godzilla even... X Kong? Like yes. how do you say it? What do you Godzilla ask? Kong? I think it's. It's yeah. just Godzilla yeah. Kong, Kong. Something else. Yeah. The Lost Empire. Or something. Yeah. I remember when you went for the first one, you really had a ball. So I'm so, a sucker for these. Yeah. Films. <laughs> okay. And now what happened? <laughs> Everyone thinks of me as this, you know, movie snob, but I'm not. I love cheesy, bad popcorn films, yeah. and it's just so much fun to see. But this one was just. It felt. <laughs> I thought it felt like they were just making it up as they went along, because like every second or fourth scene, they'd be like, "Oh, there's one more monster. Oh, we forgot about that monster." <laughs> it's just like what? No you rules. Know? No rules. Yeah. And even in this, even when it's all digital prehistoric animals fighting each other, we need rules. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, what's yeah. the logic? Really end? bad, just a bit. Just you know? a little. Yeah. So it was terrible, terrible, yeah. terrible. Like <laughs> truly bad. Um, but you know, it almost went into the so bad that it's yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because we just after a while you become delirious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hena, and then you just start laughing. Yeah. But listen, there's also a lot of excitement to look forward to. Yes. There is Chamkila with Diljeet Dosanjh, who I love, and I cannot wait to see it. And Intiaz Ali, uh, who I think uh, is also such an interesting director. I love him, yeah. uh, ma'am. Like he's played such an important role in my yeah. love for films. Yeah. And the fact that it's Shahid Kamal, A R Rahman, and Intiaz are back together, I exactly. mean. I and the music is so good. Oh yes, one hundred percent. So I am very excited for that. Me too. And then you've got the big Eid releases. Massive Eid yeah. releases. Yeah, you've Medan got. And Badan 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 Chodimia. Chodimia. My God, and and there's Avisham with Fahad Fasil. Yes. And Varsham Galk Shisham. Okay. Mm. Vinay Srinivasan after Ridham, which yeah. I love. I loved as well. So, you yeah. know, so it's like my God, what a week. It's going to be. It's going to be a busy, busy week. It's going to be busy. Very excited. But so excited. Very excited. So excited. Yeah. Um, have a look at your comments. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Sunaina Rastogi. She says, totally agree with your review. Which so, one is this for? This is for Crew. Okay. Saw the movie last night. The trailer was better than the whole movie. 
they shouldn't have spent time on their personal lives like even the grandfather passing away scene was it needed it spoiled the mood of the film I haven't seen loot case but this did have a great premise and could have been as mad as delhi belly the choli ke piche background score was really good all the actresses played their part really well they all looked super kapil sharma could have got a better role all in all a good watch uh, that was one thing that you also felt with diljit yeah. and kapil right I mean, they were so they're, lovely they're so lovely yeah. like like just and i love that scene on one where she's doing her thing of how an air hostess yeah. talks about you know safety instructions and he's actually getting turned on it's like four play for this couple uh, but they didn't have enough of that yeah and you know, you know the, I, on paper if you told me that tabu and kapil are coming together i'll be like hmm that's interesting. they worked they on worked. screen so they well worked. they were so yeah, lovely yeah. they were so lovely and the fact that he's always cooking Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so nice. I wish I'd got more. No, but I do agree with most of uh, the comment of what they said. Like there was all the uh, the what was it, Divya Rana from Haryana. Divya Rana from yeah, Haryana, yeah, yeah. and uh, you know he's. I find him lovely as an actor, and yes. uh, he's so effortless. Effortless, and just uh, I remember watching Zwigato with Kapil. He was so good in that. It he just was. tells you that. they have a range beyond just they comedy they do have a uh, range yeah. they do have a range but yahan par even if it was purely comedy mm mm-hmm. i felt like they could have been used just better better yeah you know i i feel like it was uh, you know that kind of sexism where the women are the decoration <laughs> now the men, <laughs> over here now the men became the decoration mm-hmm. but these men were just lovely yeah, yeah. and should have had more yeah hai na um acha shon fa shaw Show on far. I hope I'm saying this right. 1689 says, "I'm so del- so so delighted that crew worked. It's a testament that a movie with all female leads can work too in the box office. Karina is indeed the crowd puller. She's the real deal, and Tabu is a legend. Kriti is the best after Alia in this generation. I love the fact that Karina has reached a stage where she gets." to do movies on her own and shines. I couldn't agree more. Uh, I think it's. fabulous that that it open that people are there they're watching this film uh, again I, i just want better scripts better scripts yeah. yeah so i'm really thrilled and i don't know a part of me says that maybe we can have crew part 2 where the women i don't know they're launching on a beach in the caribbean with and planning tall another drinks. heist <laughs> and planning another heist why not why not let's become script writers yeah i, I think we're really killing it you know <laughs> You know, half the time the trolls Lick. say कि जाओ ना तुम खुद picture बनाओ बड़े आए हैं यहाँ चार आप बनाते हैं यार मॉल and it's good to uh, imagine if it miserably fails then we'll do a late take on it what what were we thinking ah huh? that's oh, right yeah. what's your next comment okay so this is for uh, the goat life the scene when ajeep takes a bath and adjusts his pants with a piece of rope prithviraj as an actor peak there i hope he gets a national award and one more person who should be celebrated for the transformation as much as prithvi would be gokul yeah. he was just 18 when they started shooting and now he is 24 he has grown from a kid to a man through uh, arujivitam what a debut he has had i remember him telling in an interview that his neighbors thought he was on drugs or cocaine because of his beard and one he was even arrested by the police because he seemed suspicious his dedication for his debut is so commendable oh, truly How truly cool, yeah. if you want to call something a labor of love it's this is it for it sure. is this so i mean in every frame of it yeah like i don't think there's a lazy frame in that entire film 100% you know yeah. they everything is thought through the way the background music comes ar rahman rasul pukuti like it's just uh, i think I, like i'm a real admirer of that level of passion oh yes 100% Hana? and you know uh, i feel like that's all that we crave for yeah. you know yeah. uh, not not people cutting corners not doing projects for the sake of it correct you can see it with this film yeah yeah, yeah absolutely Okay, uh, Fallen Arrow Nine says, if the audience became desensitized to the pain, then I believe Blessy did a good job. I feel like in real life, when you go through so much, you would in a way become desensitized. So yeah, exactly makes the audience feel what Najib must have felt. Yeah, that's a. That's this was a, this was in relation to something to, you to said. To the goat life, where okay. I said like I felt like. Again, this question of how much misery is too mm, much misery, mm. and at what point does the audience disconnect? Mm. So. That's an interesting take. That maybe the director is trying to make you feel what the character felt, which is disconnected because you can't. You can only endure that level of pain by disconnecting. Yeah. Perhaps. Perhaps yeah. that could at be. At one point of time, that becomes life. And yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that is. And you know, when he's walking around and he's feeding the camels, but also eating it himself, 
it's just a way of life mm-hmm. you know so yeah that's interesting i didn't think of that but that's an interesting take uh so that was us the reunion is set and uh, we will be back next year guys <laughs> <laughs> yes keep watching the late take take care